are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Hey, hey, over here. Yes, I'm talking to you, you ugly brute. Looking stupid today, aren't we? Oh, no way. You always look like that. Ha! Stupid and hunchback. Your legs are crooked as well. I mean, mine aren't perfect either, I must admit. But that's fine, because I don't use them to hunt down and scare innocent people. Ever looked in a mirror? Mom, no? Mom. You don't even know what that is. Not important. <laughs> Just get to safety. Last chance. I'll count to three. One, five, seven... <laughs> three! You saved my life, little lady. You're amazing. And you're a big roly-poly bear. Yay! Damn it, Kira. <sighs> Kira, Kira, can you hear me? Hey, damn, she's out cold. Absolutely circus worthy. How am I supposed to get past this without you? This spot. How am I supposed to get past this without you? This spot. How am I supposed to get past this 
spot. How am I supposed to get past this without you? Hey, spot. How am I supposed to get past this without you? Hmm? Wait here, okay? I'll be right back. It's fused to the cocoon, I'm sure. The cocoon would drop down into the chasm, along with Kira. I need a safety net or something. First, I need to secure the chasm. this without you. Really, the hero of this story. This will work out just fine. Oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Even the roots beneath the earth are too high for me. Make spot glow and buzz. <laughs> Amazing. She'll land safely. It's fused to the cocoon, I'm sure. Let's see if I'm right. Ugh! Help me, Spot! Get you out of there. Come on. Gotcha. Whoa. Ah. No pulse. Can't hear a heart. 
heartbeat either. Okay. Remember the kiss of love? Uh, life? How'd that go? No. Do something. be more peaceful here, but, uh, doesn't seem to be. You're a strange one. Well, last time I was here, I was a clown. Welcome back. You okay? Guess so. What's that in your hair? What? What are you talking about? You have a strand of white hair. What? How'd that happen? I have no idea. Well, as long as it's only one strand. We should get out of here while those things are still calm. Okay. Crap, the bees are back. Oh no. Hey, the message. Give it to me. You can't seriously want to read that now. Let's move! Wait! I just want a quick glance. Damn it! We need to leave! Oh, are you kidding me? There's nothing on it! Give it to me! Rini! Noah! <laughs> I missed you so much! Oh, and I missed you, little hopper. Body. What's the news? And what happened to your hair? Don't you like it? So what's the message? It needs decrypting. It's probably the invisible ink and lemon cipher. No, wait. Maybe it's wax-based this time. And what do we do now? We need to find the mirror to get out of here. But why? It's such a nice place. Spot's here, and we'll probably meet Sadwick, too. Oh, I really love Sadwick. He probably looks exactly like you, but with a funny hat.
All right, look, if you find a clown's hat, I'll put it on for you, okay? Yay! I love silence. I always wanted to come here. This is no place for us. Silence is a world between life and death. If we want to live, we need to smash the mirror. Do you understand? Mm. Rini, listen. No matter what anybody tells you, or whatever happens, the most important thing for us is leaving this world. Do you remember how Sadwick did it? Smash the mirror. What's with the whispering? What mirror? The one in the throne room. Do you know how to get to the throne room? Not from where we are right now, but I know it's high up. You reach it with a train that runs on the rail of clouds. How do you know about the mirror? What's with the third degree? Answer me. I smashed it myself the last time I was here. How is that possible? Because I'm the king of silence. Yeah. It's true. Hey, come on. Enough with the whispering. Out with it. Forget that lunatic. He can't help us. Yeah, I think he's the one who needs help. There's something royally wrong with the King of Silence. Hey, I said stop. My brother isn't crazy. At least, not really. Hey, that's our last flare. Rini, put down that gun. Yeah, give it to me. Leave her alone. Come on, little hopper. Sorry. I want to go home, Noah. I know. I don't like it here. Everybody's arguing and fighting. Why aren't you king instead of the false queen? Why is she so mean? And why'd she send those evil seekers? I want to go home. I'll get you home. I promise. But how? I'll find Janus and he'll take us to the throne room. He knows the way. Janus knows the way? Now get some rest. We'll need all the strength we can muster. Okay. Sleep, little hopper. And don't forget what Dad always said. We are... Like two clouds in the wind. No matter how far the winds drift us apart... We'll meet out of the ocean. I wish Janus had given us clear directions. Strange statues. Just imagine they're nice no babies. I it nice babies. And what if you didn't? It's our only chance. Is there anything to eat in there? Not anymore. <sighs> Could you keep it down? Rini is sleeping. And pass over Janus's messages, please. No. No chance. Let him read it. He won't understand it anyway. All right, go ahead, but read it to yourself. To free me, follow me from camp and past the crater, heartbeat in your back, eyes toward the dying light, I will wait for you where the way down can't be deeper. B.S. The Holy Grail is ours. The description like that, you couldn't find your own ass. <laughs> you certainly wouldn't. <laughs> oh, the paper reeks. Ugh. All right, screw this. I'll go and find this Janus myself. Who is this Janus guy anyway? He's our most valuable ally. What could he mean by the heartbeat in our backs? Maybe he didn't lift from the legs? Dying light? Okay. But what about the heartbeat in our backs? He probably wants us to turn around. 
turn your back to the sunset. Who could have captured Janus? <sighs> Certainly not the Seekers. They don't take prisoners. What does Janus mean by this holy grail? We don't know. Maybe something religious? He's a man of faith. Hey, thanks, by the way, for bringing Rini here safely. Uh, I actually have to thank her. Without her, that flesh-eating plant would have eaten me alive. Flesh-eating plant? Or the Seeker. The Seeker? That little lady is quite a fighter.